Hi, Progeologist here. Remember back in the day when you used to be able to right-click in ArcMap and turn all layers on or turn all layers off? Whatever happened to that? Where is it in ArcGIS Pro? Well, in this Pro Tip video, we're going to take a look at how we can manage to turn all layers on or all layers off within ArcGIS Pro, as well as an added bonus of being able to select certain layers that we want to toggle on or off all at the click of a button. So without any further ado, here we go with another pro tip from GeoEarth Solutions. Okay, here we are in ArcGIS Pro. And as we've seen in a previous pro video, we're going to continue to use the City of Fresno and City of Clovis data. You might recall if you've seen one of the previous videos where we previously looked at the aggregate tool and we were aggregating well data as shown on the screen here based on volume and capacity of these pumps installed in each of these groundwater wells. What I've gone and done is I've added some additional data to this map. So if I look at my contents pane, I've got more data than what we previously had. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go in and we're going to choose the data that we want to be able to toggle on and toggle off. In this case, I'm actually going to choose all the data. So I'm going to come up here to the Clovis Fire Stations layer, my very first layer. And then I'm going to come down here to my very last layer, City Limits. I'm going to hold down the Shift key on my keyboard, and I'm going to click. Now, that, of course, selects all the layers. A simple Control-A could do the same thing, but you'd get some of the base map data along with that. So in this case, again, I'm just simply choosing the first layer and the last layer while holding Shift and it allows me to select all layers. With all layers highlighted, I'm simply just going to tap my space bar on my keyboard. When I do that, you'll notice that all layers toggle off. Let me expand that a little bit more so it's a bit easier to see. Now, doing the same thing, I can revert back to all layers on. All my layers are highlighted, as previously mentioned. Toggle the space bar, and boom, there we are. We've got the data redisplayed within the map viewer. Now, if I wanted to display only certain data, in this case, I'm going to elect to choose every other layer, and I'm going to toggle every other layer off. I'm going to start by choosing my top layer. I'm going to hold down Control, my next layer, and then my next designated layer. Now, I've got these three layers selected. While holding Control, I am going to click on any of the highlighted layers and I'm going to toggle that box on or off in this case. And what it does, as you can see in the right hand side here in the map pane, is that toggles off those layers within the map. If I want to turn those layers back on, I can do the same thing. Have them highlighted, holding down control, click one of the toggle buttons, and there it is. I've toggled them back on. And so you can do this with any layer that you have in your map, within your session, and in particular here within the contents pane. So as we've looked at this, we've quickly found out how we could toggle all layers on and off by simply selecting the top layer, coming to the bottom layer, and then hitting the space bar or selecting every layer that I desire to while holding control and then toggling the checkbox button within the contents pane. That will allow me to toggle on or off those selected layers. And there you have it, another pro tip coming to you from GeoEarth Solutions.